Morning everybody. It's Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, been covering the plants still every night. Open them up every morning. Today it's a little bit brighter. For the first time in days we've got a little bit of light showing. So I'm going to do some garden harvest today. See if we might get some vegetables out of this garden, even after it's been freezing for days. Every day the same routine. Right there is a little Roman tomato plant trying to hold on. A little pitiful hold on life. But the beans are still alive. The beans, the kale, uh, a couple tomatoes here and there. Um, the corn is done. All the vines are done. Um, sadly, the squash, some of them got froze on us one night. We didn't expect to freeze. We didn't have them covered and they froze. But I've got a couple of harvest over here. I've got a couple acorn squash and a pumpkin because the vines are dead so I might as well harvest what I can. Over here the kale is still alive. Some of the lettuce plants are still growing and the peppers and the tomatoes. I've got a lot of cherry tomatoes to harvest. We've been picking them bit by bit but uh, there's quite a few of them now. We keep this tented over the plants. And that keeps the cold air from actually touching them. It's been working out. Chilies are still alive and well. Um, seriously, <laughs> that's some healthy plants even after all this freezing we've had. There's some healthy plants in here. Look at this. This is the first time I've had bell peppers growing in all my years on my own since I was a kid. When I was a kid in uh, my parents' place we grew peppers, bell peppers, but I haven't had success ever on my own. Look at that bush full of peppers. There's some nice peppers everywhere. We have some jalapenos over here growing. I've got to harvest them today. Uh, the tomatoes are not going to make it but we keep them covered anyway just because they're in the same spot with the peppers. We do have some smaller tomatoes growing but really it was just too terrible this year. It was too hot, too dry, but we've got a ton of cherry tomatoes. A lot of cherry tomatoes growing here and they've got out of hand on us so today I'm just going to harvest them all and we'll have to just start eating them because they're really growing faster than we've been able to eat them and uh, we've both been quite busy so I'm going to go through here. I also want to harvest some of the um, greens and start processing that and then pick off any worms that's in there. The lettuce we have been eating salads. You can see there's some heads missing 
Melanie cooks with it. We have salads with it and everything else. So that's been serving us well. These beans we lost, sadly. They were starting to climb. I think there's life in them, but it's just too late. Now some of these have had too much water and they're only gonna be good for the birds. Um, we'll sort them out in the house. Actually, that one's really rotted. Some of these are really rotted. I don't wanna take them in. Some are still growing. They, uh, it's funny, we had too little water and now we've got too much water. It's hurting the plants. That's why a greenhouse is going to be an easier environment to control. It's very harsh here for us to grow plants. I'm going to come back for them with a basket for the chickens later on. So I'm tossing them in the same spot. Anything that's damaged, yeah. Sadly, it's a lot of water damage. But, yeah, a greenhouse is going to be so much easier for us to control the environment and uh, grow our plants in. So, as I work, I'll tell you, the plans for the digging the greenhouse are ended for now. I don't know if I'll pick up on that again or not, but I'm probably going to use the boards that were meant for that on a trailer porch to close in the end for the winter. So we have a winter kitchen area to process foods outside using the wood stove. Actually, it'll be a summer kitchen area too next year, but it'll be protected from the elements, and that's important sheltered uh, kitchen. These are weird tomatoes. No idea. We bought them, uh, the plants. We didn't know what they were because there were no labels. We just knew they were tomatoes, you know, from the looks of them. Weird little cherry tomato plants. Little. They're tasty. And they're good growing, they're really bearing fruit. But I figure now that I got the hoop house coming, we'll scratch that idea with uh, the hole in the ground greenhouse. And I think that I'm gonna grow in raised beds instead inside the hoop house. And these garden areas I've already established. And don't forget I've hauled in 21 truckloads of, this is raised about six inches here. I've hauled in 21 truckloads of topsoil and six or seven, I think seven truckloads of uh, compost last year. So the soil has turned out pretty good along with the chicken manure we've been adding. Two years worth of chicken manure. It's adding up, you know, it's making a difference here. So I think we're gonna put cold hardy plants in the established beds and things that are growing well out here in the established beds. And we'll have sensitive plants in the uh, hoop house, like tomatoes, peppers. They'll be better off that way in a controlled environment. Now it's gonna be more work for us, of course, because when we're in a closed, controlled environment, I've got to take care of watering the plants, controlling the amount of water and sunlight in there, and the temperature. But at least I can. So my thoughts right now, the hoop house is 12 foot wide at the base, but I think about 10 feet high, if I remember right. And then, um, about 20 foot long. Now I didn't measure the length, so I'm guessing based on appearance. Roughly 20 feet long. So the hoop house is going to give us a nice area to grow in. Nice sized area. 
and I'm gonna put raised beds along the side walls and probably a narrow one in the middle with walkways around. So I'll probably draw that up and show you one day what I'm thinking about. There's a lot of little tomatoes. See, we've been knocking them off is a problem with our daily working here. The tomatoes are falling off. So, you know, some that are green. I think the plants are pretty much dead. It's just, just been too cold. I do believe the plants are dead. I'm just gonna pick them all. Anything that's, uh, yeah, they're just coming off. This, they're pretty much done. The tomatoes are sensitive. Now in the hoop house, they probably still be growing beautifully. The peppers on the other hand are still doing all right. And these tomatoes over here are trying because they're, they're in the middle where it's warmer, but they're just not, uh, they're, they're starting out too late. So they don't have a chance at all. These here, forget it. They've been too close to the edge of the tarp where it gets colder. See, even the green ones are coming off, but you know, we gave them a chance. We got a nice harvest of tomatoes here, cherries anyway. And uh, we got some good salad makings over there on the other side. So that's still nice. Now when I close this off, I'll cover it. Oh look, here's a tomato growing. A normal tomato plant. I just don't think it has a chance. There's no hope for it to really, there's just, it's too late. But anyway, I'll cover this with cardboard. We're gonna cover this whole area off with cardboard and kill off everything and then make a new start. But we still have greens growing here, probably up until November. The greens and the lettuce will still be growing. So that's all good. And the peppers, I'm gonna let them keep growing until they die. I'm gonna keep on going and keep covering them and protect them until they die, right up to the end. Um, they're still bearing fruit. Now, I don't know about the peppers, if um, I have to check if they're still flowering but we're gonna come around there in a minute here yeah we still have flowers unbelievable we're still getting flowers so I'm using uh, cutters so I don't harm the plant but we got peppers there's a lot of young ones still on here though that's why we're uh, protecting them we have been harvesting these, so there's not a lot of peppers on the plant. Um, there's some rotting ones. Get that off. Anything rotting comes off. There's some mutated ones. That's a funny one. I'm going to let him grow. This one is a very mutated plant. I don't know what he's doing. Now, they're not as big as they normally would be. They're a little bit smaller. But... They're bearing fruit, and we've been cooking with them. We haven't eaten them. Uh, this is a jalapeno pepper plant, it's still growing. Uh, they're slowing down though, the jalapenos are slowing down a little bit, I think. But right, look here. That's a very healthy pepper. Very healthy. Oh, beautiful. There's some nice ones. And over here we got some more bell peppers. So that's it for this garden section. Now we'll go over to the other, another bell peppers. Let me show you here the bell peppers. I think some of them are gonna be ready. Um, I mean, yeah, actually we can harvest some of these now. I think I'll take them in. I mean, I don't expect it's gonna get any bigger than that. That's a big pepper. That's a pretty nice, decent pepper right there. 
there's a few of them. Now these are the first peppers we've cut off, the bell peppers. But they haven't grown in a while, and so I'm figuring that's as good as they're gonna get. Um, there's one down here turning red. I don't know what's up with him. He's sort of firm, but here's another one. Probably as big as he's gonna get. So we're gonna be cooking with some peppers. We'll probably make stuffed peppers the next day or so. Melanie loves to put them in their stir fry. These can grow a little bit, but look at them all. They're thick on this plant. Really nice. Um, these are a different pepper. A little bit different. Longer. Now I know they could probably get bigger, but we are getting near the end of the season. And I want to let the plant have strength to grow out the smaller ones. So I'm cutting off the larger ones that we can eat. You know, end of season. And then I'll be happy to uh, kill off this whole area. That one sort of got a bad spot. That got hit maybe by frost or something. I don't know. Um, how are you? That's Boots. That's Little Boots. Our babysitter named this one. And then there's one over here, a couple over here that look like they've got some uh, damage. So I'm going to cut them off. <sighs> um, yeah, we'll have to just eat them right away. I don't know. The rest of the pepper seems all right. But those spots probably got hit by frost. So we're going to process them. But we've been eating all summer, and there's a nice basket of vegetables so far. And I still have to go get the um, the squash. So I'm going to put these on a the picnic table, and we'll be back and get the squash. <laughs> 